Over the last week or so, we've been sharing some of our best Thanksgiving recipes. Everything from the juiciest turkey to the most decadent desserts. But even with all of that, Thanksgiving just wouldn't be Thanksgiving without mashed potatoes. And if you're thinking, I don't need a recipe for them, well, think again, because today we're sharing how my grandmother made them. She started by boiling some potatoes that were peeled and chunked up. And if you want, you can leave the skin on to make them even more home style. Once they were fork tender, she drained them really well. And a little tip that my grandmother shared with me was to put the potatoes back on the stove until all the water was cooked off. Then she added in some melted butter, buttermilk, that too was her secret. And of course, a little salt and pepper. Now the only thing left to do is beat them. And we can do that with an electric mixer, or if you want, dig out a good old fashioned potato masher, like my grandmother did. Let me tell you, these will be passed around the table over and over again, along with the gravy. You gotta go online and get the recipe for grandma's country mashed potatoes. So you'll be armed with my grandmother's secret recipe that, until now, I never shared. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we've uncovered the perfect way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm.